Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day six of our back to school week. I really hope you're enjoying it so far. I'm really enjoying doing this, so I'd love to know of any of the weekly kind of features that you'd like to see. I'm going to be doing a request week, but that won't be for a good month and a half, just so that we can have a bit of a break from all these um, week-long videos. But I do hope that you're enjoying it. Let me know any improvements down below. Today is going to be a money saving tips video, and I thought this is very beneficial for people that, not so much school children, um, but more for people who are going into college or university and need to manage their own money and to save money in areas that you don't necessarily need to be spending. I'm going to start with some really basic things and the first one would be um, to have your own kind of mugs or water bottles because you'd be surprised on how much money that you'd save from spending money on a bottle of water every day or um, say if you only bought a bottle of water and it was one pound and you bought a bottle of water for five days that's five pound that you're spending a week that's 20 pound that you're spending a month and say if you're doing that every single week that amounts just over a grand a year on water and not only a daft pound on that actual day but it all adds up so if you can take a water bottle with you instead fill it up in the morning and then find a water fountain throughout the day the other one obviously is like travel mugs like this that are gonna be for your hot drinks if you're paying two to three pound um, a day for costas you're looking at two grand plus a year and that's only if you get it five days a week you could take hot chocolate tea coffee soup anything that your heart desires anything that's going to keep you nice and warm keep your tummy warm ready to go out um but also it's just really nice to carry with you it keeps your hands warm and um, it's going to keep you warm for your lessons and just give you that bit of an energy boost especially if you have got soup or tea or coffee or hot chocolate anything like that in it it's going to give you that energy boost that you might actually need just to get through that one lecture or the couple of lectures and seminars that you have that day along the same lines of the water bottle and the flask is to take a pack lunch with you you'd be surprised by how much money you could save if you were spending three to five pound a day on your lunch if you actually think about how much you'd be spending for a weekly shop where it's going to be paying for your pack lunch it'll be so much cheaper in the long run and i know it's more of like a lazy thing but just think all you have to do is just make a sandwich in the morning and throw a couple of grapes and strawberries in do it the night before then you're not stressing in the morning thinking oh god i've slept in i don't have time to do my pack lunch i'm gonna to have to just buy something now um actually take the time and it's going to help you as well if you are wanting to eat healthier and also keep your energy levels up as well you'd be surprised how much you do need to keep your energy levels up i know stationary supplies can be quite ugly looking but if you do want to jazz yours up a little bit i do have a diy video down below and i will leave that down below It'll show you how to make your own bookmarks and pretty notebooks and all that kind of jazz. But it's just nice because you're not spending five, six pound on something. You're paying one pound, 50p odd, and then decorating with things that you probably already have lying around at home. But it just makes it look so much prettier. And it also just personalises it as well. So at least you know that when you're going to school, university or college, no one else is going to have the same notebook as you or bookmark because you made yours by yourself. Another little money saving tip is to buy cheaper ink. Now back when cheaper ink came out, there was a massive thing saying that it'll break your printer. It's not the case at all. It's not the case at all. All you need to know is what kind of printer you have. Then on the actual back of the ones, this one's from Tesco, I've also tried the Asda ones as well and that works perfectly fine. You just need to go on the back and work out which printer yours is and if it's in this category. If it's in this category, it means that this printer ink is going to work on your printer. So I'm the Epson 18 group and that's because my printer is the XP215, which is the wireless one. And this is so, so much cheaper. You're saving a ridiculous amount. If you buy, say for instance, a black ink by itself, it's £5 sometimes to do two for £8. Whereas if you actually buy the Epson ink, which is actually obviously made for the printer itself, that's like £10, £12 just for one um, black ink cartridge. So it saves you so much money in the, in the long run. But also means you don't have to pay for the university's printer as well, because obviously it all does add up. But another little tip money-wise is to buy clothes that go with everything. So buy, for instance, a black scarf because it's going to go with all of your outfits instead of buying a red scarf or a pink scarf. Buy a generic 
top or like a black shirt or a white shirt or buy black jeans or normal jeans just buy statement pieces I'm going to show you some that I know for a fact that I'm going to be wearing on repeat over the university year black jeans or like a statement white shirt these can go with any kind of outfit you can shove them on and you don't have to think oh god I'm going to have to find um, some bags that matches because it's a certain colour and things like these like just black boots will go with anything anything that you're wearing um, same things is like trainers I absolutely love new, my New Balance trainers because they go with anything unless you're going for a really, really girly girly look which for me is never normally the case, like dresses and stuff I don't normally go for but with just a pair of jeans and even just a white shirt or just a normal top or like a jumper and a scarf like what I've got on now it just goes with anything, you need some staple pieces so that you know that you can shove them in the morning you don't have to think twice about getting an outfit that's going to match and make you look ready for the world Another money saving tip would be to go to Boots and Superdrug and the drugstore kind of shops to buy your makeup. Don't worry about having to have high end makeup when you're at university and college because it's not necessary. There's so many amazing drugstore products that are sometimes way better than the high end equivalent and also at such a cheap price as well. If you're wondering on what kind of products to get from the drugstore and what area, foundation, concealer, I have a drugstore starter kit video which I'll link on the screen now and also I'll link it down below as well. Just in case you are interested in buying some drugstore makeup or if there's something that you know you love high end but you just can't keep paying that price so you want to try something from the drugstore that might be just as good I will leave that video down below and when it comes to actually buying from Boots and from Superdrug Boots more particularly always look for when there's offers on always get your vouchers and always make sure that you are using the Boots app, the coupons Superdrug is not so good for this but sometimes they might do like 3 for 2 or 2 for £10 shop around first and make sure that you're getting the best possible price because the better price that you get the more money you have left over to spend on other things that might be uni related or more makeup or whatever it is at least that money is in your pocket and not in the shop's pocket which is the most important thing if you find that there's something that you can't physically give up so say for instance you are in love with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and there's no one on this earth that anything from the drugstore is going to compare then don't give it up. Instead, sacrifice something else. So say if you aren't too bothered about um, your bronzer or if you aren't too bothered about your lipstick or anything like that or your hair product. If you're not too bothered about swapping your John Frieda for more of your £1, £2 kind of shampoos, make that sacrifice and that sacrifice will add up so that you can actually pay that £30 for your Estee Lauder foundation or instead use pack lunches or a water bottle or a flask in order to save you some money so that you can actually pay out and get that foundation that you love because if you aren't willing to sacrifice it sacrifice something that you aren't going to be too bothered about losing that's how I'd wear things up <laughs> and then at least you are getting things that you want as well I'd also recommend shopping on eBay for a lot of things most of my makeup brushes if they aren't real techniques are from eBay and I wouldn't knock it until you try it. I'd say be extra extra careful about getting makeup off eBay because it is a bit risky. If you are wanting to get affordable makeup, I'd totally recommend companies like um, Makeup Revolution, um, MUA, them kind of companies that are really really affordable. They always do some kind of deal on as well. But you know for a fact that you're also getting that quality with it as well. I definitely rate Makeup Revolution over MUA to begin with. But if you have got a tight budget, you can always try the both or see whichever has a better offer on. One last tip, just in case you can't afford to spend any more money on makeup, which I totally understand it is hard being a student. And luckily I've stayed at home and I don't have to worry about paying for food and things like that. Because I sit at home, I know that I'm getting looked after and I don't have to worry as much about money. But it's still always nice to have more in the bank account and finding ways to cut that money down so that you can actually keep more of it than spending it. My last tip would be to use makeup products in different ways than what they are actually made for. So for instance, if you have a really good bronzer or you have a bronzer that you like, 
use that as your eyeshadow. If you have a highlight, use that as your eyeshadow. If you have a blusher, use that as an eyeshadow. You'd be surprised on how much of a good makeup look you can get from using things that aren't actually meant to be that product. I've used blushes as eyeshadows, and when, when I worked on Benefit, I still do it now, really. Um, I've used bronzer as eyeshadow, I've used highlight as an eyeshadow as well. The possibilities are endless. You could use foundation and mix it with moisturiser to get a tinted moisturiser. You could mix liquid bronzer with a foundation to make it darker, without having to buy a foundation a shade too darker when you were tanned. Just use your imagination and think outside the box instead of thinking this is a bronzer, that is all I can use it for. It's not, you can use it for anything that you like. At Benefit we got taught to scrape a little bit of your bronzer, mix it with a clear gloss and then you've got your own lip gloss that is the same shade as your bronzer. So you could make your own hula lip gloss, you could make your own sugar bomb lip gloss with a, the blusher and just scrape a little bit off, mix it together and then you've got your own homemade lip glosses as well. You can also make lip balms, the amount of things that you can do are unbelievable. Just use your imagination and think outside the box. I really hope you enjoyed this money saving tips video. Let me know if you did and I hope to see you tomorrow because tomorrow's video is going to be a giveaway and I can finally give back to you again which I really am enjoying doing giveaways. I'm finally giving something back to you to show my appreciation my appreciate <laughs> to show my appreciation for all your support and for just commenting and for liking my videos and for subscribing and for following me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and following my blog. I just appreciate everything that you do for me and I really hope that you know that and tomorrow is going to be a time for me to give back to you. So I hope to see you tomorrow for Sunday's video and I hope to see you next week as well. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye guys.